They both liked soccer. Mm -hmm. Jason loved fishing, like his father. Okay. He loved fishing. You're a fisherman? Yeah. He loves fishing. Um, what else did you, And Jason liked a lot of athletics. Like yes. he would be always involved with the school runnings. Whatever was on in sports, Jason would be in it. Yeah. Jason, Dino was a little bit more laid back. Yes. He would love his soccer. Yes. His music, he liked his guitar and things like that. Whereas Jason was more the other way. Dina hates fishing. Okay. Doesn't like fishing. Jason. He'll eat fish but doesn't want to fish. Oh, them. not really. He doesn't really like fish either, really. He doesn't like fishing. He doesn't like fish. Yeah. He and with Jason. Doesn't even like the smell. Him. Oh, doesn't the even smell. like the smell. Yeah. That's fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, Jason liked all that. Very good. And yes, was he yeah. good at his athletics as well? Very good, yes. Very competitive. Very, or? very, very good. The only reason he sort of had to give up. The doctor said for me one day that he had asthma and it was never picked up. And so he, when he was doing the, you know, when they're running yes. relay, whatever you call them, um, he used to get out of breath and they picked up that he had asthma. Is because, this in primary school? Yeah, yeah, primary school, yes. And so he couldn't do as much. Yes. Um, but then after that, he was okay, sports. Played soccer until he was 18. Then he started going out with the girls and yep. that was the end of sports. And that's about it, really, Debbie. They were easy-going kids. Never really had... Lucky. Never had a problem. Never had the police at my door. No, well, never. Never. We're here talking to you. <laughs> never. Never. <laughs> never anything. Never... No. Nothing at all. So, and when, when he was in year 12, 11 or 12, he said, I don't want to go to school anymore. I want to go to work and I want to do panel beating. Okay. I want to go into cars. So he knew what he wanted and to that's do. That's what he wanted yeah, to do. Yeah. Oh, I got upset because I said, finish the school. Yes. Don't worry about the car. He said, even if I go another year, I still end up... Panel beating. With a the panel beating. I said, all right, you go panel beating. So he won, did he? Yeah. yeah. So he took up an apprenticeship. He would always help out. He would never say no. He would never, you know. And I've got letters from people when he passed uh, that he was a very easygoing, very friendly, well-spoken bo uh, boy, no drama at all. And what would it mean for both of you, that for the people that have done this to Jason, to actually be caught, arrested and convicted? Well, we would like that, Debbie, to get a closure because yes. it's... On your mind every day. Yes. I can't imagine. Sam, your thoughts on that? Yeah. Become wider to, to you do the job. Yes. And someone has to know something, don't they? That's someone right. has to know when no one's saying. That's right. And there are people out there, Debbie, that know. Own up, come forward, because Jason didn't deserve to be killed. Um, he went to work, and we'd like you to come forward. It's always with us. It never goes away. And I don't know why we have to go through this. I just don't understand why they did it. He wasn't to blame for anything. Um, he didn't do anything. He was doing his work, so I don't know why. What actually happened on the day should not have happened. Um, as said previously on news and media, it was a cowardly act, basically. There's no other way in putting it. You've got nine offenders that have committed a cowardly and brutal act that no family should have to go through in broad daylight in a person's workplace of all places, which is absolutely disgusting. So, nine offenders, there's people out there that know something, that know who they are. They don't deserve to be on the streets because no other family should have to go through this. So someone, please, has to come forward. We know that people know who they are. So. We'd like someone to come forward and basically get these scumbags, cowards 
and whatever other words we can possibly use because there's many to use um, off the street because they don't deserve to be enjoying sunlight um, they deserve to be put away um, we want to keep our streets safe um, yeah look you know it needs to be done so please someone come forward for mum and dad for the other families out there as well um, and even for his for his son that was unfortunately hasn't met his father Jason missed out on that he's missed out on crucial things in life so it's not right it yeah it needs something needs to be done about it someone knows something please come forward